Hello, this is Dr. Giuseppe Paladini, founder of Stepping Bricks, one of the UK leading companies in training about property, business and mindset. Today we're going to talk about rent to rent and the benefits for landlords. First of all, I need to explain what rent to rent is. Rent to rent is when you lease a property from a landlord and then you rent it for a higher cash flow strategy. Could be HMO, house on multiple occupancy, or uh, serviced accommodation like holiday lets, short term lets, self catering accommodation. Now, depends what you want to do. If you want to rent it room by room, that's called HMO and you need a license. If you are renting it um, per night, that's called serviced accommodation. And in some areas of the UK, for example, Scotland, you need a license. In the rest of the UK, not yet, but it might come very, very soon. So let's say, what are the benefits of uh, doing rent to rent? But first of all, you don't need a big starting capital. For rent to rent, it's quite simple. You need a little bit of capital, which is going to help you to uh, start your business. You need a bit of marketing, you need a bit of uh, marketing material like lettering etc uh, and but but you don't need to buy a property you just need to control the property that's the main difference between acquiring a property and buying a property okay so acquiring a property could be just control it manage it and buying a property is actually physically putting the money down for the deposit or for the whole property for many people that are starting out uh, they may uh, don't have a starting capital or a big capital to buy properties then rent rent is one of those uh, low money down strategies. I wouldn't say no money down because you still need a little bit of money for that. But what are the benefits for landlords? Because I hear this question a lot of time during our club sessions and our academy sessions with our students. Uh, one of these questions is how do I get the landlords on board? How can I convince them to give me their property and then I can manage it, put it on Airbnb, booking.com and use it as a serviced accommodation. You cannot convince them, you have to show them the benefits or why they should give it to you rather than uh, doing it by themselves. So some of the landlords are actually tired of uh, managing their own properties. Some of the large landlords are not happy at all about their letting agency managing their properties like for example overcharging them for repairs or maintenance or not choosing the right tenants not screening them properly by the way that is one of the reasons why we created golden tree estates which is a sales and letting agency in sterling in scotland uh, because we couldn't find the services that we wanted in another letting and estate agents if you do things properly then you will thrive with your business so always remember this rule to come back to to uh, finding landlords and convincing landlords to give you the property uh, what you need to explain to them is the benefits of giving the property to you so if you come in and guarantee a rent, you probably heard about uh, guarantee rent to landlords. It means you lease the property for a number of years, let's say uh, three years or five years or whatever works for both of you. Then you can guarantee a rent, a fixed rent to the landlord that is not going to change regardless if you have a tenant or not. Of course, you're not going to have a tenant if you're doing service accommodation because you're having a guest, okay? It's different from tenant. Some landlords are fed up of all the repairs and situations, maybe the letting agents didn't do a good job, so they want to get rid of the property, probably they want to sell it, or um, I don't know, they just, they cannot afford to do any repairs anymore. So you can step in and say, look, I understand the situation, I would like to help you out here, I'm also running my own business, and uh, we can um, lease your property, and we will take care, uh, we will keep it in show home conditions, because that's what you do with um, with serviced accommodation. We will clean it, we'll, you know, twice a week, once a week, depends how long is the stay uh, with, the, with the guests. Uh, so you will always check it and inspect, inspect the property every single week, I would say, more or less. The property is kept in show home uh, conditions, but also um, you will do all the repairs, small repairs, small maintenance. Of course, if the boiler breaks, that's another matter, it's a big maintenance, maybe the landlord in that case is responsible, but you can create a contract that, is, uh, that, is, that works for both of you, okay? So once you um, explain these 
benefits, for example, no headaches with letting agencies, etc., changeovers and, and, and finding an, the right tenant and responding to repairs and maintenance, etc., then you already took that objection out because you're taking care of everything. You are going to pay the rent regardless, which means they never ever have any void so they can afford to pay their mortgage safely and securely. And then on top of that, there is a tax benefit. You probably heard about Section 24. Section 24 has been dubbed as the anti-landlord tax, which means that uh, before in the past you could offset your mortgage interest that you were paying on the property against your future income. However, with Section 24, this didn't happen anymore because it was phased out and then you cannot offset your mortgage interest on the property anymore. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're renting the property for a thousand pound a month and your mortgage is, um, let's say, 400 pound uh, a month. Now, in the past, you could offset uh, the interest on that mortgage. If it's an interest only, that's 400 pound. Uh, so your income, your profit will be 600 if you're self-managing, a bit less if you're giving to a letting agent. So your profit was 600, your, your expenses were uh, 400, so you were only paying tax on the profit. With section 24, that doesn't, that doesn't happen anymore, which means you rent it for 1,000, even if you have 400 pound mortgage, your income is still 1,000, okay? And of course, that put out of business a lot of landlords they wanted to off, offload the portfolio, sell it as soon as possible because they were losing money uh, rather than making money. Basically, they were paying tax on losses as well rather than just uh, profit. That doesn't apply on limited companies. So if you own a property in the limited company, that section 24 doesn't apply, only applies on properties that you have on your own name and it doesn't apply on commercial. And guess what? Service accommodation is classified as commercial. Section 24 doesn't apply on service accommodation. Now that's, that's your benefit because of course you're renting uh, by the night, etc. You don't need to worry about this because you're paying your corporation tax if you have it in a limited company. Now let's say the landlord has it in their own uh, name, in the personal name and not in the limit, limited company. Parenthesis here, don't ask the landlord to transfer it into the limited company because it's not a straight transfer. They have to sell it to a limited company, pay capital gain tax, and the limited company needs to pay stamp duty again. So that's not a good idea. They can keep it in their personal name. And if they lease it to you, that's called trading activity. Now, hear me out here, this is quite important. This is now a trading activity because they are leasing it to, to you, to a business, okay? They're not renting to a tenant anymore, which means it's not an investment anymore, it's trading. And if it's trading, it goes in a different page of the tax return. Now, I'm not an accountant, okay? But you're very, very welcome to speak to an accountant and they can tell you exactly the same if they are educated. Section 24 doesn't apply on trading, but just on investment. You can offset the mortgage interest or against your income because it's a trading income and not an investment income. Now, do you like that? I guess you do. So that's the situation with rent to rent. And if you explain to the landlords, look, not only I'm um, taking care of the properties, it's going to be on show home conditions, I'm going to guarantee you this rent. I'm going to, um, you know, send you pictures of the property if you want once a month so you can see the property is actually in good state if you really want. On top of that, there is a tax saving. So if you're struggling with Section 24 and with the tax, this is a very good option for you because you can still offset your mortgage interests against your income that we're giving you uh, because it's classified as trading and not as an investment. Do you like that? Obviously, if you explain this to the landlord in a you know very humble way and uh, clear way, then the landlord will be most likely on board with you. If one landlord will try with one property and they are happy about that, then they may have a portfolio that they can give to you. And if they have a portfolio, now you have a rent-to-rent -rent portfolio for HMO or service accommodation, which means you're going to make a lot more money. And not only that, remember, I talked about word of mouth in another episode. They are going to talk to other landlords because they meet at networking events. They talk to each other. Remember, people surround themselves with like-minded people. 
If you're not doing that, by the way, change your circle of friends, change your social, because it means you're getting dragged down by other people's mindset, which is not aligned to your mindset. So if these landlords meet all together in networking events and they talk, talk to each other and explain to each other, because generally they complain as well uh, to each other about the, um, the pitfalls of having properties, but if they have a solution that's been offered by you, then what happens there is they will recommend your services as well to other people, other landlords. I mean, literally, you can scale this business from almost zero money uh, as a startup to whatever you want. The sky is the limit, you can decide. Now, I hope you like this content. If you liked, uh, then subscribe to the channel, share this video with anybody that you know, and leave a comment below to let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.